So that much chance we discuss today we're going to cover a very standard question or let's say the very variation of a BFS algorithm that is the shortest distance from source to destination path correct before moving ahead if you're new to the channel please like share and subscribe so we can learn maintain and grow our streak together and hit the bell icon to get the regular update and one more thing the prerequisite for this lecture would be or or you can say that just to be practice just to practice this question even more there is one more question that we have covered in the GFG purity purity playlist so if you're aware that also that i also maintain a gfg purity playlist where i keep posting the problems for the particular day at every 12 am that a new question is thrown up on the gfg website and it could be uh, based on any topic uh, any topic in the dsa regarding any algorithm so that's a very great uh, way to practice your problem solving technique right so there, there there was this one question which i covered in day 163 that is the night in geek land right so night is nothing but in hindi we call uh, there is a chess board we call it as ghora right the horse it can move it to eight direction right so in that question we need to make a uh, traversal for the particular eight direction and we can find the coordinates and, and do so so this is also a variation of a bfs after covering this question which i'll be just explaining to you you can go through that video as well let us proceed ahead with this video now okay so what the question says is that you have an input and output 2d array let's say so this is your starting position this is your ending position the constraint given to you is that you can move in all four directions that is up right up down left and right but you can only move to a cell which contains value equals to 1 correct so we will do the same bfs traversal as we have done as we have done in our previous video uh, the link should be mentioned in the description as well and it should be coming up here now that how we are, how we can do a bfs travel what actually is on a mesa kaise kar sakte right theek hai to is question mein kya karna hai hame same bfs traversal hi karna hai bas the starting node and destination node will be given to you to hum yahan kya kar sakte hain ki we are given the privilege to move in just four directions right so if i move in the let's say right direction then you can see that the uh, this particular value is zero right and the condition says that you can go to a value which have the cell equals to 1 to yahan pe nahi ja sakte aap agar above ki baat kare to it would be out of bound left it would be out of bound the only option remaining to us is that we can move downwards in all the four directions now for this one we can move another in in, in another four directions right but the left would be out of bound and we cannot move up from here as well because that was the node is already visited we just came from that node right so that means we need to track uh, we need to make a visited array that we make in a bfs traversal and we need to mark it when we are visiting it right we cannot move down here because that's a zero value right okay so that's the path now so first we were at this one and now at this one now at this one what we can do again we cannot go left because it's already visited we cannot go up because it's marked as zero we cannot move right because it is again marked as zero so only the option i can move here is down so for this thing and uh, we will make a 2d array 2d matrix again to keep on marking the position so for this thing these all the nodes are marked true again since i visited this node i will mark this as true again and then here from i cannot move up because it's already visited i cannot move left because the value is zero i cannot move down because it be out of bound the only option available here is that i can move in the right hand direction so in my case again as one similarly in this one i cannot move in the rest of the three directions only possible here is three and in market as well so what are the number of moves what are the number of moves that we covered so this is the first this is the first move then this second move then this third this fourth and this fifth right so the shortest distance that we can get from source to destination is 5 in this case there was only one path possible but let's say in the case um agar multiple path possible hote to hame un sare cases mein se we have to return the minimum one correct right? okay also there is one more constraint mentioned in this question which be, which makes this question a bit simpler because it's mentioned that the source and destination is always fixed that the source is always at the 0 0, 0 index and the destination is always at the uh, n comma m index right so we just have to return that if there is a path possible from source to distance destination or not we do not have to consider all the multiple paths that is possible and then we need to return the minimum that is that is we do not have to take care of we just want to see that if there is a if there is a path available from s to d then what is the minimum step that you are taking right that's it so that's make a bit simpler because if the source and destination varied from one position to another and let's say multiple paths would, would have existed and then it was asked to let's find the minimum one then what we can do was that we need to find first of all all path in that case put it in a set let's say because the set because uh, multiple uh, the same path can come twice right so we do not want to maintain, maintain the duplicacy as well and in the set then we can see that what are all the paths are distinct and then and then we will get the shortest distance right so that will be a, a different question a slighter more variation of this particular bfs question, uh, variation 
बट ठीक है इस इस क्वेश्चन को देखते हैं सो इस इसमें हम बस हमें सोर्स डेस्टिनेशन हमें डिस्टेंस निकालना है कितना डिस्टेंस आ रहा है देन दैट इज इट राइट सो आई विल टेक तो वन थिंग आई लास्ट यू दैट when you have understood how the bfs traversal is working then i guess you don't need to memorize it you will you will uh, aap ye boilerplate code aapko yaad hi ho jayega right and this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal right so this is the code which is always used in bfs traversal so if we are at this position right so we will have two two uh, two or three indexes let's say so x and y will denote the row and col uh, the row and column number for this particular index but do we need an extra parameter yes we need what's that extra parameter is that whenever we are making a call from one cell to another we are actually um, increasing our distance right so let us make one more variable that is d and whenever we are calling for its neighbor we will pass it at d plus 1 correct theek hai let's do this So we already know there is a Q involved in there. So that's the simple BFS boilerplate code. If you are not seen that video of my BFS video, I have particularly made this playlist just for you guys for the graph, and I've explained how the BFS, DFS, and we'll keep on updating the further topics which keeps on coming. So that is it. So we will first of all we'll make a pair data structure which will contain three variables, right? That is uh, the x index, the y index, and the distance. And then we'll see how we can restructure this code. Great. So we have made a pair data structure now, which consists of which contains three variables, three parameters. Now, what is the requirement here is that again we will have a queue. These this these are the standard um, what is it steps we need to follow in the DFS. But instead of making an array list, we need to avoid this thing, right? We can make a queue instead of making an integer type. We have to make it as pair, right? So let me now edit the entire code and then I will show you uh, line by line. Okay, great. So the first line is making declare a queue with the pair data type, and the second thing is that we need we need to make a visited boolean array of two D of size n cross m. Again, we need to find push the first node in a queue. That is the first node they have said is the source node would be at pointing as zero comma zero. So that's why we have pushed the x index and y index at zero and zero. X x and y index is nothing but the row and column now, and this zero is indicating that you are at the starting position, and now the distance from source to destination is zero. because the source the destination itself is the source for this point right you are at the starting point so your current distance would be zero again we need to mark that particular node as true we do not want to we do not want to move in a loop right if there's a loop in the graph great so while queue is not empty we need to do we need to process the first item that is the first top item of the queue and we need to push it neighbor right that's the standard code so how we can do this in this particular code let me rephrase it again Great. So that's the entire code now. So we are actually pulling out the first item of the queue. We are naming it as current, and we are checking that if that current uh, x value and the current column value that the point cell is having the same as the mention x and y, then definitely we have found our distance, and we will re will return current dot d. Dot is nothing but our operator which can which is used in Java to access its parameters. Like in the pair data structure, there are three parameters, right? So I can access all the three parameters using the dot uh, function. Uh, uh, Dot operator, let's say, not function. So, what are the neighbors now? The next thing is to move in all the all the direction of neighbors. So, what are the neighbors? So, uh, uh, that's what I have stored in dx and dy array. If you look at my uh, another question also, night in the geek land, as I said. So, even if you if you are moving in, let's say, four or eight direction, let us store in a keep a track in the array. So, if you are at this, let's say, x comma y, and you need to move up, then what would be the change in the row? You will moving you are moving a one row up ahead, right? So, it would be x minus one, row minus one. The column remains same. Similarly, if I'm moving down, then you are moving one row ahead with the same column, so x plus one and y. If you are moving right, then you are at the same row, that is the x row, but you are moving one column ahead in the right hand direction, so it would be y plus one. Similarly, for left, x comma y minus one. I hope we are clear at this point that how the dx and dy array has to be mentioned. So that is why we are using. We already know there are four four neighbors, so we are using a for loop that is i equals to i less than four. We are calculating the new new x index and the new y index using dx dx of i plus current dot x, right? And now we are checking if that particular new x and new y index should be in bound. It should not be out of bound. So what's the condition for checking x? The row call uh, the row mm, value to be uh, in bound. It should be greater than equal to zero and less than the given row number. Similarly for the column, it should be greater than equal to zero and less than the given column number, right? And now also there was one constraint that you can move to a particular cell which has contains value one. So that's what I'm checking. That a of new x and new y should be equals to one. Also, that particular cell should not be visited because if that is visited, we do not want to process it again. We do not want that particular path, particular cell value to get in the same path again, right? Great. 
so we are marking it tattoo and we are pushing it uh, pushing that again in the queue and at last and at last it would be uh, we need to return minus one if this minus one will return that there was no path possible and there is no path possible right and if the path is possible if this this particular 57 line will take care of it also if you are moving in a particular direction for a neighbor you definitely need to pass this current dot d plus one whatever the path you are at this current point we are moving one ahead in all the four directions right so what would be the increment value in the path definitely plus one correct so i hope we are very clear at this point of time and yes let us hit the compile and run button so what is the time and space complete for this code it is the standard bfs traversal that is visiting each and every node so it would be o of n plus n cross m right it should be a time complexity should be o of n cross m and since we are using a visited uh, boolean array of 2d n cross m so space complexity will be again n cross m the compilation has been passed successfully let us hit the submit button meanwhile let us analyze the time complexity and uh, meanwhile let us analyze the constraint as well the n and m is pointing to 2, 250 right and we are using n cross m so 250 into 250 uh, would be a such number which would be definitely less than 10 pirates and that is why our solution got submitted and we have scored our marks great let us see the c plus solution now and we'll end this video so that's the c plus code let us wait for its submission as well i don't think a walkthrough is required the same thing we have done here is as well great this c plus code has been su successfully submitted we have done the same thing maintaining a period which consists of three parameters the q uh the 2d vector and then we are we are processing where the queue is not empty uh processing out the first node from the queue and then pushing its neighbor meanwhile there's a if condition which is checking that if we have reached our node then definitely you have to return the distance that's it that's it so if you uh uh i also discussed time com time uh constraint analysis so if you're not aware of this constraint that how does 10 parit logic work definitely i have made a video on a uh on my channel you can go and visit that as well i'll mention the all links in the description for the problem link and the source code as well so till then uh, let us meet in the next video of uh, this graph playlist till then keep learning keep going bye bye and take care guys